Okay, so I need to tell this. I'm not quite sure what to do, so time to um, ask the internet because the internet's never wrong. And oh, look, Mighty Python Online. Let's ask him what he thinks here. And he is telling me I should do top 10 worst presidents in French history. Well, I don't really know anything about France because I don't live in France, so I don't care about France. Oh, uh, let's see. Well, there's Donald Trump because, well, people always say he's going to be the worst president ever, which uh, I'm not going to comment there. And so I guess if he's the worst president ever, that means he's bad for France. And yeah, okay, Donald Trump, number one. Um, number two, I have absolutely no idea. Uh, Jean-Luc Sue, yeah, I don't know. I need, I need an anime top list. I don't know enough about history. Uh, any other ideas? Top. Ooh, top of Spondos. That could be interesting. And you know what? Because I want clickbaits, I need to do something completely absurd, so I'm not going to do this top 5 or top 10 because that would be boring. <laughs> I am going to do top 50 anime husbandos in anime. Because, well, if I'm going to make a list like this, I might as well go all out. So, uh, who's going to be on this list? Well, first of all, we're going to have number 1 Soji from Ori 20 Tells Narimasu because he turns into Tail Red and Tail Red sets everyone on fire and he loves Twin Tails and he's protecting Twin Tails from the evil aliens who want to steal the passions of the world away from them. And if anyone protects the world from things like that, they must be number one on a t top husband list. I mean, am I right? Of course I'm right. Um, and then number two, well, uh... Perfect answer for number two would be Hideyoshi from Bakken Test. Because Hideyoshi is the only sane character in that show, and that alone makes him a top husbando character. I mean, Yoshi's good and all, and I forget what that other guy's name is, but Hideyoshi is just so perfect, and he's so unique too, because, like, most characters you have to be either male or female, but Hideyoshi, he does not stick to such societal conventions. Like, he has his own way, but society has another, and the whole conflict there and fighting for who you truly are, that is something to believe in, I think. I don't know. Uh, number three, uh, who else should I put on here? Um, yeah, you know what? It's the internet. I have the internet in front of me. Time to ask for help here because that's what I do. And that way I make sure that all my viewers um, get their choices and it will be all wonderful. And let's see, uh, what does my sister say? And now my sister is giving me the next nine entries for this list. I think, well, we have uh, number three on the list, Naruto, of course. Because Naruto is someone who follows his dreams. He follows his ninja way. And he's such a great hero. Someone you want to root for so much. And, I mean, just Naruto, he's uh, so great. He, want be, he wants to become Hokage, so believe it, he's number three. On uh, number four, we have Subaru. Because, you know, sometimes when you want to get from one place to another, you don't want to walk. You want to take a car, and Subarus are a wonderful car, or so I've heard, because they're from Japan. And, well, I like my Honda. So I'm assuming Subaru is a dog. Wait, you're not talking about a car. You're talking about Subaru from ReZero. Well, I mean, that that makes sense, too. We'll go with that instead because, well, it's kind of weird to put a car on a uh, husband on list. But, hey, I'm kind of weird sometimes. Uh, Subaru, well, he's from ReZero. Uh, he gets all the girls, all the maids. Uh, they love him, or sometimes they try to kill him. But they still love him. You know, it's like a love-kill relationship. That's the thing. Uh, he's someone who is a complete idiot most of the time. And, you know, idiots are kind of fun to be around. Uh, especially when they do weird things involving bears. Don't ask. So yeah, Subaru number four. Uh, number five, Kaneki, because, well, you know, I'm a very intellectual person, and I value math oh so much, as you could tell by a certain recent top video. But Kaneki just takes a, a step beyond, because he teaches you math as he watches anime. Because if it were not for this show, would you know what 1000 minus 7 was? No, I don't think you would. I just don't think you would. I, well... Maybe a couple of you would, but yeah, you know. And he has a cool white hair, too. He's just so emo, which is like, you see his suffering, and you feel the suffering as you watch uh, Root A, so it just fits perfectly. Uh, number six, Ikuto. I don't know what show this is from. Uh, and we have, uh, I'm looking it up on Bing, I'm going to assume that uh, she's referring to Ikuto from Mishugo Chara, which uh, he's a, one of the main characters in the anime, so because he's a main character, he must be cool. He has uh, blue hair, I think he has cat ears too, so that makes him even cooler, you know, because I, I like cats, I mean dogs a little bit better, but cats are cool too, especially um, if they turn into people like they do in some fictional stories. So yeah, uh, Ikuto, uh, you're going to be number six on this list. And then number seven, we have Momo. Because some people claim that Avatar The Last Airbender isn't an anime, but I find that's just too restrictive of a term. Because, like, Momo, he's like, flies around. He's just a perfect comic relief character. And that's why he deserves to be on a husband list. And it appears I might be wrong again, because there's also the Momo from Momo Curry, which is a cute romance, and that would actually make a little bit more sense. So, yes, uh, number seven is Momo from both Avatar and Momo Curry. Uh, Momo Curry is great because he's, like, he's uh, the nervous guy. He doesn't know how to deal with romance. Curry, however, is a bit insane, so he's just it's so cute 
cute seeing them together, and I just love that romance so much. On number eight, we have Archer from uh, Fate Stay Night, because really the Archer class is made up of archers, and he's just such an interesting character, uh, wanting to save the world, and then all those things happen, and now he's in the stuff, in the spoilers, and just Archer is just so cool. Uh, yeah, or maybe she's referring to Archer from Fate Zero, because that was Gilgamesh, and I mean, the fan service at the end, I can see why he'd be on their uh, top as well on the list after something like that. Or maybe it's Fate Apocrypha, but I forget who Archer is in that, because I haven't watched it for a few weeks, so we're going to assume that it's Archer from Fate Stay Night, because we can, or whatever. And now for number nine, we have red-haired mohawk dude from Kill a Kill, because my sister did not remember his name, and apparently neither did I, because I'm bad with names. Uh, but still, he's just... He is someone who is willing to fight the evils of this world with nothing but his uh, sewing pin... No, so we need a firing device thing. And well, that's just really cool. And he wants to destroy all clothes because he knew his speech. So that has to be top of bonded material there. And yeah, I'll go with that. Number nine. Uh, number ten, we have All Might because he just goes beyond. He's plus ultras. He has a tactical called Detroit Smash. He fights enemies. He doesn't afraid of anything. And he's an inspiration to everyone to be a hero. And well, I'll talk about him in a future video. Number eleven, we have Regan. And this I'm actually not quite sure what my sister is referring to here. It could be the President Ronald Reagan, which, I mean, if you're a Republican, he's like the greatest uh, president ever, at least since Abraham Lincoln. Uh, he's uh, He was an actor, so he, a celebrity. And, well, we have a celebrity in the office now, so, I mean, that has to be a good enough reason for him to become president or to be a great anime Hizbondo. I'm pretty sure, like, uh, half the Republican Party would put him on the top Hizbondo list, just, just saying. Or maybe she's referring to Regan from Mob Psycho because, again, anime husbando? Then, yeah, I did mention anime husbando, I think. Uh, so yeah, uh, he's Mob's teacher. He's just so incredible. He knows how to manipulate people. He's an, also an adult, unlike all these kids. I mean, kids are cool. In that case, sometimes they're cool. But you really want someone who is a grown up, who knows how the world works, and is not afraid to throw salt on ghosts to do something or whatever. So yes, uh, Reagan number 11, and now my sister's out of things, and now she's sleeping, so I can't bug her again. Uh, so Mighty Pi. Uh, Mighty Pi, uh, top his and, well, let's see. And he says JoJo. So we're going to do that. Uh, for number 12 through 42, we're going to go with all of JoJo Part 1. According to Mal, every character listed there, even the narrator, because the narrator is just so good, and even Lisa Lisa, especially Lisa Lisa, and, well, yeah, I would talk more about it, but I've only seen uh, Season 1 of JoJo, so I can't really comment more. But still, uh, 12 through 42, every single character on JoJo. And now Mighty Pi ran away, and now he's uh, going to work out and run 72 miles and become just like, uh, just Jack like JoJo. So uh, now what we need to move on to something else. So we're going to go with another sports anime, which is just so incredible. It's the greatest sports anime ever. No, not Karako, not Haikyuu, but Free. Because if you have a top husband on the list, you have to have at least one of the guys from Free on there. And I'm not going to stop it with that. I'm going to have the all five of the main guys for 43 for, through 47, uh, we have Haru and Nagisa, or Nagisa, or however how you pronounce it. Uh, we have, I forgot their name, Rin, the shark boy. Makoto, yes, Makoto. What was, what's blue haired guy's name? I forgot. No, this is not a joke, I actually forgot his name. I don't know, but she's on the list anyway. Uh, he's 47. Uh, so we need three more. Well, uh, we have Kirito, obviously, because that's the one my brother suggested. At least I think he suggested that. I don't know. Uh, so yes, uh, Kirito, he's a black swordsman. And really, if you're a video game fan, you want Kirito to be on your husband list because you want to be with him. If you ever get trapped in a video game because he'll save everyone. Or at least the cute girls. But, I mean, you can play as a cute girl and they won't know the difference. Unless they do that whole thing where they make you look like real life, but... You know, you can make it work. So yes, that's why Kirito is on the list. And now for 49 and 50, we have Armstrong from Full Metal Alchemist and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Yes, I gave him two spots. Because not just him, because Alex Louis Armstrong is at 49 really is incredible. He's just so buff, he fights, but he's such a gentle soul too. And if you ever need a hug, he'll give you a hug. You probably will have a few broken bones afterwards, but he'll give you a hug. And then number 50 is, of course, Olivia Armstrong, who just... Uh, kicking his her brother out of the house like that in violent ways. I mean, that's just that's just awesome. Like stabbing people. You don't have to be a female to be a husbando if you're as cool as she is. You know. So that is my top fifty anime husbando list. I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, if you have any other top list ideas, let me know because I'm desperately out of ideas now. So please, thank you. Have a good day, and uh, may Makoto be with you.